as they did last week against Arizona. And last week was nothing like anyone expected. Who would have thought the offense would steal the show? Or that the leading rusher would be a wide receiver? Could this be grinded out Penn State? 41 points and well over 500 total yards. But some things did go as expected. LeVar Arrington passed his first Heisman hurdle with a solid effort. Now college football is on notice. Joe Paterno and the Lions look like they're for real. Today, step two, Penn State and Akron. Next. Beaver Stadium and Happy Valley is sold out this Saturday afternoon as number two ranked Penn State hosts the Akron Zip Set of the Mid-America Conference. Ken Shoffy Fields put on a show like he did a Saturday ago against Arizona. Over 100 yards rushing, 76 receiving, and two touchdowns. Hello, everybody. I'm David Sullivan, along with Al Harris. And Al, the show by Fields was incredible a week ago. Today against Akron, it's a vaunted Penn State offense that's come to the forefront. Well, this Penn State offense traditionally has been known as a power, tough, smart offense. But they've realized in order to compete with the Nebraskas, the, Penn, uh, the Florida State, the Florida, they have to have speed now. These are the national champions who won the last few years. They've had great speed. They've had the ability to stretch the field. They've done it with wide receivers. Some of those teams, they've done it with mobile quarterbacks. As you can see, Penn State has these guys now. They haven't forgot about their power, though, with Aaron Harris running over people. But they realize now, for order for them to compete for the national championship, and we talked to Joe about that, and he said that's their goal, they have to be able to stretch that field to make big plays down the field. And they made those big plays, as you see graphically, more than 500 yards in total offense against a very good Arizona defense. Well, Arizona is basically known as the Desert Swarm defense. And now they just got dominated. They didn't know really what hit them. All they saw was the traditional Penn State plays of last year. Penn State looked more like Florida State, running gimmick plays, reverses. They just dominated Arizona. Yesterday, Joe Paterno told us, I'm a one-quarterback guy. This year, he's going with two quarterbacks, and Paterno seems very comfortable. He's got Kevin Thompson, Richard Casey, splitting the quarterback duty. Well, Thompson primarily, he's the kind of guy... He's just more of a traditional guy, classic drop-back guy. He was much maligned last year, and people were relying on him to take him to the national championship, but he has help as well with Richard Casey, more of a mobile guy, a guy that can make plays on perimeter. He can really put a lot of pressure on your defense, so they have two different ways to attack a defense. Akron, certainly a very big underdog in this game today, but if the Zips have any kind of a chance, they're going to look to their quarterback. Butchie Washington is the guy that perhaps can make the big plays for them today. Well, they need a huge, huge game from Butchie Washington. He's primarily their main offensive threat. He's very mobile. He can throw the ball well on the run, as well as run. As you can see here, he has good quick feet, and he could possibly cause some problems for Penn State's great defense. Well, speaking of defense, they're not all offense, of course. Defense is the key to Penn State in many ways. LeVar Arrington, number 11. Okay. They're already mentioning him with the Heisman Trophy, which defensive players just don't win. Oh, this guy is totally awesome. I mean, this guy can explode. He's like a heat-seeking missile. They just send him up in the back and he blows things up. You can see he had three tackles for losses. He has tremendous speed. He runs a 4-4-40. People have talked about the LeVar leap. He has a 40-inch vertical jump. He made a tremendous play against Illinois last week. So, I mean, last year. So, he's a phenomenal athlete. Brandon Short also good on defense. Kirpakis and Courtney Brown, each big players as well. Can Akron breach the big blue wall? We'll find out today. This man has a secret. It's a secret that'll give you the edge in your career. Sculpt your body and take your love life to new heights. What's the secret? It's men's health. Every issue brings you tons of useful stuff on the topics that matter most to men, like how to build amazing abs, lose weight fast, slash your cholesterol 30 points in 30 days, plus have great sex every day until you die. Call now for your free trial issue. Get the latest health breakthroughs, answers to your intimate questions, plus step-by-step -step exercise posters. Discover what women want and why they have men spinning in circles. Call now for your free trial issue of Men's Health. Keep it and get a full year for just $21.97. You'll also receive three free guidebooks, Quick and Healthy Cooking for Men, Burn Fat, Build Muscle, and the Men's Health Guide to Ultimate Intimacy. Don't delay. Call now for your free trial issue and free book. Get in on the secret. 
Call 1-800-983-9449 now. It's a celebration event all year at Damon's. It's been 20 years of award-winning ribs in the atmosphere that's made Damon famous. Check out Damon's new menu to please the whole team. Merle Hodge knows the meaning of real power from start to finish. Today, the power of Bowser Pontiac means that 70% of the new cars we sell are her repeat customers. Because a big part of Bowser power comes from increasing your spending power. When you consider the new Grand Am, Bonneville, or Montana, begin and finish your session with a home with a guaranteed lowest price. You'll drive home knowing what real power is all about. Bowser Pontiac, Route 51 South on top of the hill. getting ready to take the field here at Beaver Stadium this afternoon. A tremendous, overwhelming favorite over Akron coming in here for the Mid-America Conference. But Penn State has everybody talking throughout the state of Pennsylvania after their performance against Arizona last week, Al Harris. Well, I'll tell you what, one of the things that Joe is concerned about coming into this game, playing against Akron, you know, they built it up to such a fever pitch last week, Dave, that will they have that same emotion coming into this game this week? Well, we're going to take a look at some other action and other stories concerning college football on this Saturday. Let's go to our National Notebook with Mike Gleason. There's nothing like a good argument during the college football season, but Tennessee fans have to be scratching their heads. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't the Volunteers run the table last year on their way to the National Championship? Plus this year, a healthy Jamal Lewis returns to the backfield, yet the number one ranking eluded Tennessee in the preseason poll. And now they're third behind Florida State and Penn State. Even the latest poll seems a little out of whack. The Penn State is ranked number two in the AP poll after beating the Arizona Wildcats 41 to seven. Wasn't Arizona ranked third going into that game? Go figure. One of the early surprises of the college football season, the Miami Hurricanes. The Canes slapped the Big Ten with a black guy beating Ohio State 23-12 in the kickoff classic. Miami may be a lot closer than most of us realize as far as returning to the nation's elite. They were tougher than the usually physical Buckeyes. Not that Ohio State looks like the program that reloads every year, but after finishing number two in the country in two of the last three years, John Cooper should have some leeway to experiment. If he does, he may want to test one of his freshman quarterbacks because that battle between Austin Mockerman and Steve Belisari may have been overstated. It doesn't look like either is the quarterback Ohio State needs to keep that machine cranking out the W. You want an early look at the man with the inside track to the Heisman Trophy? It's the Seminole who shocked the football world by returning for another season. Yet there's really nothing shocking about this run against Louisiana Tech, however. Peter Warwick is so talented, it may come down to not what he does on the football field, but the way he does it. I'm Mike Gleason with this week's National Notebook. Other big games today in the Big Ten. We'll see fifth-ranked Nebraska and Iowa getting underway right about now. Ohio and Minnesota. Uh, Wisconsin is hosting Murray State and Purdue and Central Florida. Miami of Ohio and Northwestern. So a lot of Mid-America Conference mm -hmm. teams playing Big Ten teams today. Arkansas State, Illinois, Notre Dame and Michigan, and Ball State, Indiana coming up this evening. Now Joe Paterno, his 50th year at Penn State, 34 as the head coach, 308 victories. Uh, almost a 79% winning percentage. And this is Lee Owens, the, or Jim Lee Owens, the coach at Akron, who is going into his fifth season, 12 and 32, is his overall record, trying to rebuild the Akron program. Of course, Jerry Faust had been the coach at one point, uh, and Owens came in after that from Ohio State as an assistant. 74 degrees, 50 percent the humidity. It's a perfect day for football. Yes, it is. And Coach Owens was talking about it. He was going to look into his, the Akron's eyes and see if these guys are ready to play this game. I know they're going to be excited, 
but are they too hyped up? Are they too tight? Are they intimidated? This is what we're going to find out today. This is Clay Penn State. And Akron, Forney will kick off. We'll send deep for Akron. Dwight Smith, number 15. And this kick will send him into the end zone, and he'll take a knee. Let's take a look at Akron. The quarterback is Butchie Washington. Brandon Payne, a redshirt freshman, is the tailback, and Rashi Cutler is the fullback. The receiving core, Ritley, Shafino, and Lavelle Bailey. And Bailey is capable of making some big-time catches. The line averages over 292 pounds. Hale, Knifley, Smith, and Westman. First play, quick completion out on the near sideline, down over the 30, first down to the 35 yard line so a quick gainer right off the bat from Akron on offense the defensive line Courtney Brown Fleischauer Jason Wallace and Terpakis at the right defensive end he had some big plays against Arizona the linebacking core three of the best they've ever had here Arrington Brandon Short Mac Morrison Macklin one of the best cornerbacks in the country boy Derek Fox Anthony King First down on their first play from Strinich. Washington completes the pass as he is broken up as the man is hit immediately over there by Anthony King. One of those quick cornerbacks for Penn State came up to make the play. Dave, one of the things that Penn State is known for is tremendous physical presence, and they bring the leather right, right away. So one of the things that Akron has to watch themselves in is not getting intimidated was good that Washington got his first throw out there and got a good completion for a first down. That makes you feel good coming into a game like this. Butchie Washington, a junior from Columbus, Ohio. This time they put it on the ground. They got running room. But boy, it was closed up very nicely. Coming up was James Boyd. As McCray, Tony McCray, the fullback, just didn't get much of anything. Boyd, Boyd made a nice play there. He was the only guy out there by himself there, and he wraps him up. He had a blocker all over him. But that's part of Penn State. They have a great, great weight program, and they're able to bring people down like that. They're looking now third down and seven. McCray, last year, rushed it only 16 times for 75 yards. 580 weighs 205 pounds. Washington on third down and seven, swing pass, nothing there. Hit for a loss and dropped by Anthony King. I tell, you, I tell you what, Anthony King, this guy, he was a great tackler. I mean, last week he made some great tackles against Arizona, those quick hitches, and again, we've seen two picture-perfect hits. I mean, I watched him, he gets his feet underneath him, just picture-perfect hit there. I mean, this kid might be one of the best tacklers, if not the best tackler on Penn State's defense. Just gets his body underneath there, wraps him up. That's the perfect way to tackle for you youngsters. King, a senior. Kenny Watson, number 22, will be deep. The punt. Coming up by Eaton. He gets it off. It's going to bound at the 20. Taken by Watson there. He'll lose a couple of people, but nowhere to go. A couple of yards out, up over the 25-yard line. So the Nittany Lions will go on offense for the first time this afternoon. Cordell Mitchell, the tailback, the senior out of Syracuse. At tight end, and they like him a lot, Tony Stewart out of Allentown, Pennsylvania. Fields and Drummond completing the wide receiving core. The line, line that averages over 296, Blick, Cole, Spano, Tincher, McKenzie. First down for Penn State. First possession hand up the middle, and Akron's defense swarms over them and stops him for little or no gain on the first play. Well, you see Nate Johnson there. He's really excited. And that's what they need people to swarm to that football. Let's look at the defense for Akron. Ron Smith, number 95, the defensive tackle, probably the best defensive player on the line that Akron has. Nate Johnson, one of the linebackers, number 34. Keep an eye on him out of Steubenville, Ohio. Hughes Smith, Relaford, and John Eaton, a senior in the secondary for Akron. Penn State lost one on that play, the first in the line of scrimmage. Here's Kevin Thompson, throw complete, wide open the receiver, and he's going to get a first down and a lot more. A big play out of the midfield. 
as they complete it out there to Sam Crenshaw. He makes the catch, number 13. He plays behind Saucy Field. Drummond gave him a big block. Now watch Thompson take a nice hit there. But Crenshaw, this is what we talked about. Penn State, now they have those athletes can make those athletic plays and explode out of there. Look at the moves of Crenshaw right there. Freezes his number one defender right there and just blows by everyone. And this is what Penn State's looking for in their offense. 24-yard gain for Penn State. First down at midfield. Yeah. Hit in the backfield and dropped for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. That's number 55 that came crashing through there to make the stop to the left defensive end spot. Adi Edwards, the junior out of Springfield, Ohio. Adi said adios on that one. He came right through that line and made a great play. You know, Coach Owens told us before the game, told us last night, our team will not be intimidated coming into this game. Oh, there's no question. They're playing with a lot of emotion right now. They're penetrating, getting into the backfield, making it second and long for Penn State. A loss of five yards. Penn State looks at second down. Stops it on the give off the left side, and that right side of the Akron defensive line holds strong and only yields a yard or two. Chris Smith, 59, out of Maslin, Ohio. A sophomore led the charge for the zip. Well, if you're Coach Lee Owens, you're pleased right now. Your defense is playing with a lot of emotion. you got Penn State in the third and long. That allows you to do a lot of different things. They play a, a flex defense like you see the Arizona defense played last week. Now they got them in third and long. That gives you a little more freedom to call different plays defensively to attack that offense. Penn State faces third down at 11. A couple of big plays by the Akron defense. Can they hold on third down? Kevin Thompson going to go deep. Look for Shoffy. Off his arms and shoulders and out of bounds incomplete. That was a beautiful pass by Kevin Thompson. I mean, he was he was maligned last year about can he do the job this year? Can he be the quarterback that can help Lynn lead Penn State to the national championship? And he threw that thing perfectly. And Shafi just didn't get a hold of that ball there. I mean, right in his hands, that should have been an easy touchdown. That was Dwight Smith on the coverage. Pat Pigeon now to punt for Penn State. So sort of a moral victory here for Akron on defense. In the first series, they're able to stop Penn State, and they'll have to punt. Brandon Payne stands deep at the 10. Beautiful spiraling high punt that they're going to let go into the end zone for a touchback. And Akron will bring it out to the 20. Beaver Stadium this afternoon. We've got no score between Akron and Penn State. Whoa, par? Hmm, must be a Golf Magazine subscriber. Call now for your free trial issue and learn how to shave three, four, or five strokes off your game. Add 20 yards to your tee shot. Improve your short game. Shoot lower and play the best golf of your life. Call now for your free trial issue of Golf Magazine. If you like it, get 11 more issues. 12 in all for just $19.97. Plus, get this terrific Golf Magazine gear bag free with your paid subscription. Call 1-800-848-9339 now. If you're ready to lose weight, muscle up, and get back into shape, I've got a free video you're going to love. Introducing a winning fitness strategy. you got to eat healthy, drink plenty of water, and most importantly, strength train with Bowflex. Strength training adds muscle. Not only does your shape look better, you actually increase your metabolism, so you end up burning more calories. Strength training these days isn't just for men. It's great for women, too, and Bowflex is designed for both. It's even been called the best home gym by Use as little as 5 pounds to more than 400 pounds of resistance. Follow our six-week fast fat loss program or create your own from over 60 different health club quality exercises. Bowflex is easy to own and it fits in any room in your house. It comes with a six-week guarantee on results and you can finance it with no money down and payments as low as $33 per month. Hey, I'm 41 and I'm in the best shape of my life. And I can tell you, Bowflex really does work. For a free video and brochure on the machine that can help you get into great shape at any age, call right now. In 39 in the first quarter. Beautiful scenery here in the Happy Valley surrounding Beaver Stadium. Sold out. Second-ranked Penn State and Akron are scoreless. 
Butchie Washington, the quarterback, rolling back under pressure, falls loose. Akron falls on it at the one-yard line. As you know, that had to be big, bad Courtney Brown. This guy is all man. Number 86, Courtney Brown came from the left side and just overpowered. Here he is. There's see Courtney Brown there. He gets his hand to the ball, makes a strip, and gets his third sack already. Steve Hale was able to pounce on it. Number 64 for Akron. Courtney Brown. Senior. Alvin, South Carolina native. Had a big year in 98. One of the best at his position in the country. Hand off up the middle at the goal line. Stopped and fell back into the end zone. Penn State wanted a safety on there, but uh, after the fortune, they were able to get out of the end zone there. Head biker Bacon. Bacon. Stop. Yeah. When I was talking about Brown, he's made his third sack already this season. Kopakis comes in there, gets good penetration, almost nails him for a safety. That's a little debatable back there. He had his feet behind there, but the ball has come out to that end zone, so the official ruled that it wasn't a safety. Third and 29 for Akron. This drive has gone backwards. They get a little bit out here. Is 44, Tony McRae gets it out over the five-yard line. Give him a little breathing room for the punt now as Penn State figures to come up with good field position. David Fleischauer was in there on the rush along with Courtney Brown. Well, if you're after it, you have to look at it this way. You, you dodged a huge bullet right there. I mean, Brown makes a great play, stripped Washington of the ball. They could have got the ball. They could have scored a touchdown or got the ball in the one-yard line, and they were able, able to dance out of this. So it's a big break for them. John Eaton's a punt, a senior. There's a flag down. We'll check out the penalty marker. Ball taken inside the 40, the 20, the 18-yard line. Nice return by Kenny Watson. Now we'll see what the penalty marker is all about. And our referee, Donald Amicon. That's one of the things Joe was worried about, Dave, was the mental preparation, the mental concentration of their team. And that's just... That's just mental stuff that's not physical those are the things that he's concerned about coming into this game don't make those kind of mistakes that can cost you field position now let's see what the referee uh, is going to mark it off against Penn State after the we have offside on the defense they'll take the five yards we remain fourth down Joe, so, Joe's very excited about Kenny Washington by the way I mean, he loves this kid. He can make a lot of plays. He's a, he's a more of a quick kid than a fast kid, but I mean, he, he really has a lot of agility, so he loves him back there. He thinks he can make a lot of big plays on this year. Line of scrimmage, the 11, fourth down again, Eaton again in the end zone. Gets the punt away. Watson will take it at the 45. And he's short of the 30, about the 32-yard line. Now Penn State in good field position when we come back the Nittany Lions and the Akron Zips, scoreless. What sets some people? Give them the confidence to succeed on their own terms. It's no secret, it's the Wall Street Journal. Now you can have that confidence delivered for 13 weeks at just $36.75, just 57 cents a day. That's a 25% savings off our regular rate, which makes now a great time to try this limited time offer. Call now, 800-900-6600. That's 800-900-6600 for the Wall Street Journal. celebration event all year at Damon's. It's been 20 years of award-winning ribs in the atmosphere that's made Damon's famous. Check out Damon's new menu with a variety of choices to please the whole team. Merrill Lodge knows all about power, how great it plays and runs and feels. 
Today at Bowser Oldsmobile, we've been going the distance for more than 16 years, running strong, with over 70% of the new cars we sell going to repeat customers. Our commitment to the guaranteed lowest price on all Oldsmobiles is something the greater Pittsburgh area feels good about. The power of Bowser is more than a dealership. It's a friendship. Bowser Oldsmobile, Route 51 South on top of the hill. In the first quarter, Akron and Penn State are scoreless. Kevin Thompson, his numbers from last season, passed for nearly 1,700 yards, six touchdowns, eight interceptions on the year. He's gone all the way so far in this game for the Mitney Lions. We've yet to see Richard Casey. Penn State in good shape right now after the punt at the Akron 32 first down. The play fake, looking over the middle, complete to Chaffee Fields inside the 15 near the 10-yard line. Dave, this shows that they have a lot of confidence in Kevin Thompson. Kevin Thompson's been throwing very well in this game. He's had a little pressure early, but uh, they do a good play action fake to hold the linebackers in there so they can't come back across that middle. And you see Fields coming across. There's no one in the middle to help with that underneath route like that. Wrapped up by 96 March. That is a 20-yard pickup on the pass from Thompson to Shoffee Fields. First down from the Akron 11 on the ground. Harris inside the 10-yard line before he is finally hit. Aaron Harris, the senior out of Exton, Pennsylvania. Hit by John Eaton coming up from the secondary. And not only John Eaton came up there, Dwight Smith came up. Aaron Harris, they're happy about him. They didn't know if he was going to be the same old Aaron Harris of two years ago in 1997. Watch him just run over people, just very physical. Dwight Smith came up there, number 15, and popped him pretty good, though. Second down and six to go to Harris up the middle to the one yard line. Very close to the first down. He's reaching forward with his hand, trying to put the ball on the one yard line. That's what he needed for a first down. Can you imagine they had two years ago, they had Curtis Enos and Harris in the backfield together, similar power speed guys. And this guy is running very well now. As you can see, Penn State has those big hogs on the offensive line blowing people out of there, and Harris just blows through people. He's tough to tackle one-on-one. -on -one. Eric McCoo comes into the game. Thompson still at quarterback. Third down, less than a yard. They need to get to the one-yard line for a first down. That's two yards away from a touchdown. And right around the right end and into the end zone, Mike Serenelli. Caramelli out of Allentown, a junior, scores for Penn State. 6.40 in the first quarter. Well, Penn State, they, this is what they wanted to do. They wanted to establish their physical dominance. And as you can see there, Caramelli just comes in and walks in the end zone. There was no one there at all. Great blocking on that offensive front. Now Caramelli is all Penn State. His father... Graduated from Penn State. The family dog is nicknamed Nipney. Everything is blue and white in that family. Uh, Courtney up now for the point after. It is up and good. And Penn State takes the lead over Akron, 7 0 in the first quarter. We'll be back. You're watching Big Ten Football. to handle whatever Mother Nature dishes out, and even the things she doesn't. Over the years, no mower has been more bumped, scraped, and abused than Craftsman. Why face your lawn with anything else? Hurry into Sears, where all tractors and mowers are on sale. Watch NFL this morning for your chance to play the Road to Atlanta Watch and Win sweepstakes. You and a lucky friend can win a trip to the NFL this morning set during the regular season and a trip or two to the NFL's big game this January in Atlanta. Just watch NFL this morning for the winning word, then log on to FoxSports.com, send it a postcard, or for an official entry form, drop by a newsstand and pick up NFL Insider Magazine for your shot at the Road to Atlanta Watch and Win sweepstakes. Watch and win big with NFL this morning, an all-new free game show, Sundays at 11 Eastern, 8 Pacific, only on Fox Sports Net. Meet Wayne Betts. He saw the kids in his community without direction and did something about it. 
them up there. He got them off the streets and put them to work, teaching important lessons in community service, responsibility, and helping others. So he can spend more time on FoxSports.com, where he gets real-time stats, game summaries, and injury reports used to manage his Fox Fantasy football team. <laughs> The Lions just go 31 yards, four play drive, and score. Aaron McCoo made a great block and sealed everyone on the inside on that play, number eight. Mike Ceramelli got the touchdown. Dwight Smith, number 15, takes it at the five. And he smothered at the 18-yard line and brought down. Al will look now to see how Akron reacts to the score. The fact now they are trailing Penn State 7 to nothing. Well, this is one of the big things is when you get your nose bloodied a little bit, what just happened to him just now, how are you going to react? That drive, four plays, 31 yards. Ceramelli, two-yard run. Now, we'll, we'll see if their, their strategy is the same. Are they going to keep attacking, going after Penn State, or are they going to be intimidated? That's the big key right here for the Zips right now. Washington hands off. Good running room out over the 25 to the 27-yard line. For Brandon Payne, number 28, that's the redshirt freshman. He's out of Rankin, Pennsylvania, played at Woodland Hills High School. Hit by Anthony King. See, look at that blocking right there. They just walled off Penn State's defense there. Gave him a great run right there. They're doing a good job blocking downfield. Payne, the redshirt freshman, on second down and two. For Payne, his first college start. They're going for a first down. They needed to get to the close to the 29-yard line. Today's game is being produced and distributed by ESPN Regional Television. We are at Beaver Stadium. Penn State, 97,000-plus. So watch the Nittany Lions in Akron. Akron, Akron used to having only 15 to 20,000 people at their game. This is a big thing for them. First down for Akron on that last run. The offense has been able to move the football occasionally here. Here they go on the counter play. Good running room out of the 40. Still on his feet near midfield. That is Tony McRae, the ball carrier. Finally brought down at midfield. The junior out of Akron, he's called a hard runner, 5'8", 205 pounds. Arrington and Brandon Short on the stop. Good running by McCray there. He's, they're attacking the right side of Penn State's line over there. They're running away from Brown right now, and they're having a lot of success. A little misdirected, nice cut back by McCray. Cuts on the inside. That's going to give him a lot of confidence because it's a physical play. And they need that against Penn State. 20-yard pickup on that play. First down for midfield, still on the ground. This time, Payne gets a good gain of about seven yards over to Penn State, 45 to about the 43. Hit there by Anthony King. See, these are the kind of things, the mental things, the mental messages you send to teams. Right now, they're running predominantly on, the, on Penn State's right side, the left side of their line is getting a lot of movement. Look at that line. Good blocking there. They're just getting guys, getting at their feet, giving Payne a good open area to run. Payne and McCray have both ripped off impressive runs. They've gotten some good blocking along that front line. They're looking now at second down. Payne doesn't have anywhere to go. He's wrapped up and brought down for a, a loss of about a yard. By Brandon Short, the All-American. He's their leader on the inside. A lot of, a lot of things are made by, about Arrington, but Short, he's really the guy who's the leader on that team. Lee Owens, the 43-year-old head coach at Akron. He was an assistant at Ohio State from 92 to 94. Let's see Washington, third down play. Harrington on the blitz, they hand it off up the middle and get the first down inside the 40 to about the 37-yard line. Brandon Short tripped him up. Derek Fox came in to nail it down. But that's uh, Tony McCray, number 44, with another first down run. They trapped him on the inside, caught him on a blitz. 
They sent Arrington up the middle. He, they tried to get him to blow up the play like last week against Arizona when they got in the positive yards against Penn State. Sandusky obviously doesn't like that defensive play. A longtime defensive coordinator retiring after this season. After 32 years as a part of this staff under Joe Paterno. Washington fake. Throws out here. Had a man open but under throwing. Washington knew it too. I mean he fell down almost immediately before the ball even got there. He fell down in frustration because he knew he messed up a possibly big play there. Penn State has to watch it because emotionally the Zips are getting into this. They're getting more confident each time because they're doing physical plays. Physical plays against a traditionally physical team will give you a lot of confidence. Akron's not attempting to finesse anything. They're just going to power football, run the ball, and they've been able to move it. They picked up 44 yards rushing against Penn State. Still in the first quarter. McCrado this time doesn't have anywhere to go. Penn State brings him down. Brandon Short rooting to the ground. There's a flag down on the far side. Well, you're not going to keep Short bottled up there all day. Just manhandles the lineman in there. This guy, they're talking about him being the number one draft choice in the National Football League. He just gave you a taste of why they consider him to be that way. Washington just come in there and just blows up the whole play there. On the line, against the offense, it's declined. Third down. That's the first penalty against uh, Akron. And now they're going to look at third down and 14 to go. If you're Akron, you don't want to get in a position like this with the great athletes that Penn State has, especially with Arrington coming on a blitz and Big Courtney Brown coming around the end. So you want to keep it short and sweet, not get these long plays and third down. Out to the flat. Incomplete. Thrown and intended for Brandon Payne. But LeVar Arrington was out there, and the ball is incomplete. Now it's fourth down. Well, Arrington comes in there. Now, does he, did he have possession of that ball? You're saying, did he have control of it? The officials ruled no. You have the illegal procedure on the offense. Not enough people on the line. Decline. Fourth down. Well, Paul Martin there. You see him over there. The offensive coordinator, he's like, Hey, guys, we got to play with everyone on the line. You're not going to make too many plays if guys aren't lined up properly. It's going to be fourth down at the Penn State 41-yard line, and John Eaton goes into punt formation. Kenny Watson stands down at the Penn State 10-yard line. Eaton's punt so far, two, have averaged 37 and a half yards. Watson is going to let it hit. Akron's not going to be able to down it. It goes into the end zone for a touchback. So with 325 to go in the first quarter, Penn State before a sold-out crowd leads Akron seven to nothing. They scored on a ceremony two-yard touchdown run that culminated a 31-yard four-play drive that took just took a minute and 38 seconds. The other Big Ten game that is in progress right now, Ohio and Minnesota, first quarter seven to seven. Penn State takes over. And we have Casey in a quarterback. Runs the reverse. And a lot of running room down the far side. Still on his feet down near the 40-yard line is Eddie Drummond. Drummond, a speedy wide receiver, a sophomore from Pittsburgh, who has run a 10-3, 100 meters in high school, explodes on the play. Now, what's the line from up top? Penn State steals it. Aaron Harris, great block there. Drummond comes flying around there. He turns on that 10, 300-meter speed. And you can see that's why Penn State, they've run a lot of reverses. Watch the move there. It looked like he was tackled there, and he got out of there. Almost popped it for a touchdown. He went 40 yards on the play, Drummond. First down Penn State at the Akron 40. And off up the middle, plowing and still on his feet and going inside the 30, inside the 25 is Mike Ceramelli. Well, 16, John Eaton finally made the stop. 
Here Penn State, they go with the, the reverse, a big strike going around the end. All of a sudden, they come right up the gut for Sarah Melly, using just a lot of power. They're, they're, they're trying to keep people off balance. Sarah Melly does a good job. Good blocking by the Penn State O-line on the inside. Looks like he's tackled there, takes off a couple of guys, using that thing just powering through. I say Sarah Melly may be the strongest player on the Penn State team. Not much on that play. But see, Penn State, you know, although you can see the flash and dash, now you see the players have the ability to make the big plays. They haven't forgot about being physical. Wisconsin is also in action, the ninth-ranked team. 7 to nothing over Murray State, first quarter. Second down, 10. Just over two minutes to go, first quarter. Penn State leads, Akron 7 to nothing. Guard Casey on the third leg. What a running run. Casey, touchdown Penn State. Rashard Casey, the junior out of Hoboken, New Jersey. A good running quarterback and a big touchdown. Well, this is the other head of the two-headed monster. They're using this mobility, their play action fake, a rollout. And it looked like just a naked boot there. And no one's coming up. Casey just uses that speed and explodes through there. That's what we talked about Penn State. This is, you know, one of the things, Dave, is people question this offense. Can this offense match this great defense? And they're showing it right now that they definitely have the capability to do that. 80 yards in four plays for Penn State. Courtney with a kick is good. And Penn State inside two minutes in the first quarter goes up 14 to nothing just a nice fake there after they had a nice run they had to honor that fake but no one was on the outside you have to have contain from your defensive end or linebacker and no one came up to stop casey until it was too late you know that's rashard casey's first touchdown rushing or passing wow i have a feeling this will be a lot more before his career is done don't you i think there will be there may be more today <laughs> Hopefully not for the zip. They don't want him to score again. Well, two touchdowns in the first quarter, and Joe Paterno lecturing on the sideline, talking to Eric McCoo. That saw his team go 80 yards in four plays, and Casey going 23 yards for the touchdown. Just look at Joe. I mean, you think of, it looks like you're wondering if he's winning or losing the game. He's a detailed guy, and that's why he's been a great coach all these years. That's why he's won over 300 victories because he pays attention to detail. Even though you may score a touchdown, he wants you to have everything right. And uh, that's what's made him great throughout these years. Well, now Akron finds themselves down 14 to nothing. Kept taking it to three. Up the middle, burst of speed. Nice run back over midfield by number 25. Graham, I think it's Jimmy Gray. What's great? Great blocking here. This is what they need. They need some plays out of the special teams to make that feel a little more level for him right now. Gray just explodes through the middle. He's a former wide receiver, and he's certainly got speed. A junior out of Cleveland Heights, Jimmy Gray. 51 yards on that return by Gray. Hand off to Payne inside the Penn State 45. You know, Akron counters the big touchdown by Richard Casey with a nice kickoff return. Uh, to the Zips' credit, they're not folding up their tent down two touchdowns. All the... Oh, they're not. They don't have anything to lose right now. I mean, they're playing against a great Penn State team, although you see Penn State dominating them with the rushing game there, 89-31. to But Akron's had some success on that left side. I'm sure they're going to come back, you know, on their offensive left side. I'm sure they're going to come back and attack that some more with the running game. A minute left in the first quarter. Quick over the middle, complete. To Nick Fortner. A tight end, a redshirt freshman out of Kettering, Ohio. Fortner made a nice grab, good play call by Akron. They got a first down 
just outside the 25 of Penn State. Nice play there. Washington looks like he's going to throw it in the out, and he just throws it right up the middle on the seam pattern there, which Fortner, no one's covering him at all because they, they normally don't throw to him. So that was a great call there by uh, Winter, their offensive coordinator. There's Paul right there. Got a little stinger there. Ascari Adams on that play, number 18, was helped off the field. That's a first down for Akron. They trail Penn State 14 to nothing late in the first quarter. Not much on that left side. Brandon Payne hit by Bob Jones. Second string defensive end. Now watch this. He's going to disappear under a sea of blue jerseys. They're paying. Great pursuit by the Penn State defense. Jerry Sandusky, the defensive coordinator. His defense now sees Akron at the 26-yard line as the clock runs out on the first quarter. So the first quarter is over. Penn State 14 and Akron nothing. You're watching Big Ten Football. Are you one of the millions of American males who would like increased sexual energy? If you've been considering Viagra as a solution, consider something different. All natural Enerex. Clinical studies show various ingredients of Enerex enhance sexual energy, increasing desire, performance, and satisfaction. Enerex is all natural with no side effects. With Enerex, you'll feel the increased energy within minutes and with no chemicals. We're so sure you and your mate will be completely satisfied. We'll offer you a 30-day, no questions asked, full refund. Enerex stimulates sexual energy by expanding the blood vessels, causing increased blood flow to specific areas of the body. Unleash the power of Enerex now. Call 1-800-603-1843 in the next 10 minutes and find out how you can save 30% off the retail price. Take advantage of our special TV offer. Call 1-800-603-1843. State is up on Akron 14 to nothing on a touchdown run by Sarah Melle and another one by Rashard Casey. Now Harris, it's obvious that Penn State's dominating this game statistically, but Akron's still competitive at the 35-yard line of Penn State, 25-yard line of Penn State. Second down, Butchie Washington throws incomplete. See right now the zip. They're in a position, you know, they're close to field goal position right now. They don't want to leave this part of the field without some sort of score to give them some confidence right now. They're down by two touchdowns. And they're in a good position. It's third down and ten, but they need to, to get some yards so they minimally they can at least get a field goal and get some points on the board. Third down conversions. Akron so far is one out of four. Third down, 10. On the pitch, Brandon Payne down for a loss of two, and it'll be fourth down and long. Brandon Short put the stop to Brandon Payne. Brandon and Brandon show there. Now, Arrington comes across there, forces the pitch. Short comes scraping around there, makes a fine play on the freshman. You see, Penn State, they have those leaders that can make those big plays. See Arrington coming over there, making them, Washington pitch it quick. And, you know, when you have great athletes like that, not only do they have great offensive speed, but they have great defensive team speed as well with their linebackers. This is Zach Durr, a sophomore from Shaler Area High School in Pittsburgh. He'll attempt a field goal, but we've got a flag going down. Mulenek is 
the holder. Now the whistles blew a stop to things. A penalty on Penn State. See, these are the things that Joe was talking about. You have a substitution in practice. On the defense, 12 people on the field, five yards, still fourth down. I think that was our Kropakis on that one. They had too many people out there, so you give a team a better chance to get a field goal here. Zach Durr will try a 39-yard field goal. He's got enough leg in it. It's right down the middle. Zach Durr puts Akron on the scoreboard, and Penn State leads it 14-3. to And we'll be back. Stay with us. You're watching Big Ten Football. Craftsman. Built to handle whatever Mother Nature dishes out. And even the things she doesn't. Over the years, no mower has been more bumped, scraped, and abused than Craftsman. Why face your lawn with anything else? Hurry into Sears where all tractors and mowers are on sale. Giving your deck a facelift is as easy as one, two, three. Creating the perfect patio is a snap, step by step. Now decks, porches, and patios gives you step-by-step -step help for all your outdoor projects. It's filled with color illustrations, tricks of the trade, and there's even a special long flat binding. Take the first step by ordering decks for only $1.99. Use your credit card and get kitchens free. That's two books for just two bucks. Tackle any project with Time Life's home repair and improvement books. Give your kitchen a makeover with custom cabinets. Freshen up the bathroom with a new shower. Call now to get two books for two bucks. Use your credit card to order decks and get kitchens free. With home repair and improvement, you can turn your house into the home of your dreams. Call 1-800-559-9977 to get two books for two bucks. Order decks for a buck ninety-nine. Use your credit card and get kitchens free. That's 1-800-559-9977. Stadium Akron has scored on a field goal. Oh, you see here the ball hit down there on the ground. That's you know, he does a good job of picking it back up. And watch the reaction by Forney right here. Larry Johnson, Kenny Watson, the deep men for Penn State. Johnson with it. Blockers running past people over the 25 to about the 27. Now Akron has scored on the Penn State defense. Here in the first half, they went six plays, 25 yards, and Durr's 39-yard field goal. Well, they, did, they did a lot better than that uh, Arizona offense last <laughs> week, didn't they? I was going to say, Arizona didn't get anything to the very tail end of the ball game. You know, if you're the Zips, you have to be feeling good somewhat about yourself. You've got some movement against one of the top-rated defenses in the country in their stadium, so you have to feel good and you have some confidence now you have some points on the board. Uh, over 14 minutes, early second quarter, Penn State 14-3 on Akron. They'll have Casey at quarterback, hand off McCoo. He's finally brought down up court, or up uh, field, by Ed Marks. Well, you got their McCoo there. They just have a big stable of running backs. But you have Rashard Casey still in there. And when you ask uh, the coaching staff, how does Joe Paterno make the decision when Casey comes into the game at quarterback, it's just when he feels like it. <laughs> You do what Joe tells you to do, in other words. In other words, there's no set rotation on how they're using Casey and Thompson. It's when Coach Paterno feels it's time to make a change, he makes it. Hit for a loss. And the ball passes loose. Akron says they got it. That was a big-time hit in there by the Zips on defense. And they got it. Well, I think what happened, too, he never got on the exchange. Bad hand up between Harris and Casey. Harris, I don't know if he ever got a hold of the football. They kind of discussed it with each other afterwards. You see there, he stuck it in there. And he was hit almost immediately by Adi Edwards, number 55. 
It looks like 53, Derek Wilburn, got down on the football right there. See, that play was made by Ed Edwards on the left side of the field. He really got a lot of penetration in there. Greg Bruma is in at quarterback, number eight, a new quarterback for Akron on the reverse, and whistles will stop the play. Now, when you change a quarterback like this, Al, we knew from Coach Owens he intended to do this going into the football game. You take a chance of this kind of thing happening. Well, especially at this at this point right now, I mean, I think, you know, obviously the coach has his game plan and thinks that uh, Greg can be effective, but you're talking about just coming off a big turnover deep in Penn State territory. The Lions used to the cadence of Washington. So it's a big gamble right now. Well, Gromick was the starter in 97. Went down with a knee injury. They said his knee was down, so there was no penalty. The knee was down, so that backs it up to the 37-yard line. Gromick, he'll throw. Got his man complete down for a first down or very close to it. Needed to get to the 8th or the 22. And that's Cujo, Greg Cujo, that made the catch. LeVar Arrington was on coverage. Well, this is a big play by Gromick coming out of here on the second down and long. Makes a nice throw there to Pujo right there. Does a great job getting underneath Penn State. Nice little rollout, plants his feet. Gromick does, good job. Gromick, a senior out of Chesterland, Ohio. The Zips have a first down at the Penn State 21. And off to the 20 and going his way to the 15-yard line. That was Rasheed Culler, number 45. Well, she color put the wood on LeVar Arrington on that last play. I mean, he ran Arrington right over. You know, no. I mean, wow, I mean, this kid is pretty physical. You're talking about Arrington, he's one of the top linebackers in the country, and he just ran right through him. Color is listed at 5'10", 230 pounds, and regarded as one of the better fullbacks in the Mid-America Conference. You can see why with a play like that against a great linebacker like Arrington. Second, four to go. They keep it on the ground and punch it down just outside the 10-yard line. Brandon Short made the stop. Well, you know, Leo Owens, he is a traditional guy. He loves running the football. He's the Ohio State background. He has that inside. He wants to run the football, keep the game close, put the pressure on Penn State, so to speak. They have nothing to lose, so he wants to make sure he keeps their guys in the game, give them a chance to compete. 33, Bo Hunter in the backfield for Akron on third down and short. Gromick rolling, looking for the end zone, out of the end zone, over the receiver's head, incomplete. Try to get it to Nick Fortin in the tight end, 38. Looks like there's a penalty, a possible penalty there. Otherwise, they're looking at a fourth down play. I think it's a penalty against Penn State, though. That was third and two. I don't know if that was a late hit or... We have a dead ball, personal foul, hit out of bounds, against the defense, half the distance, first down. Oh, what a big break for Akron. They're going to get a first down inside the uh, Penn State 10-yard line. Justin Kropinka's right there. Can't hit a guy, you gotta be smart. Look at it, is he out of bounds? Yes, definitely out of bounds. You gotta be smart on those plays like that as a defensive end. Well, now Akron's got a first down and goal just outside the Penn State six yard line. 10.47 to go. Inside the five yard line, Christian Morgan as Akron is mixing up the running backs. We saw a lot of pain. We've seen now Christian Morgan, Culler, and McCray. Playing very similar to Penn State, running their multiple backs as well. You know, Jerry Sandusky talked about Penn State's defense has really not been challenged or pressured yet. Remember he talked about that earlier in the meeting yesterday, and now here's the chance here. They, they get to go against some adversity and see if they are really up to uh, what the press clippings say they are. Well, Al Akron's got a second down and goal from the Penn State five-yard line. 10-08 to go. On the ground, big hole, touchdown, Damn. Akron. 
Brandon Payne cut against the grain. He had a hole. You could have driven a Mack truck through that thing. My, Touchdown. My goodness. The Akron just totally sealed off Penn State on that play. On the left side. Watch the blocking there. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> oh. Steve Hale rolled up LeVar uh, Arrington on that play. That was a big key block there. Steve Hale, number 64. Big old 6'3", 325-pound man. Made a great block. Well, the Zips now can close the gap. They're going to call a timeout. They lined up for the point after, and the kicker looked over Durr and calls timeout. See, that's the thing you got to watch out for here. The Zips are feeling very good about themselves. They've had a couple of good drives. They get a turnover. They scored a touchdown. At, you know, fourth, it would have been fourth down if it wasn't for that penalty there. And now they come back in and score a touchdown. That's your redshirt freshman, Brandon Payne. His first collegiate touchdown comes at Beaver Stadium against Penn State. Well, Hale there, he rolled up Arrington very easily. And you, you look at him, look at the emotion, look at the excitement. I mean, these guys are really into it. Seven plays, 32 yards on the drive. Took three minutes and 12 seconds off the clock. And Brandon Payne, his first collegiate touchdown. Now we wait for the point after. See, they, see, they believe. Look at them. I mean, look, those guys are really into it right now. They believe that they can possibly upset this great Penn State team. Well, it'll be the point after now by Zach Durr, who is connected on a 39-yard field goal. As Akron has scored nine points in a row. Now they make it ten. Durr puts it up, point after is good, and Penn State has a four-point lead over the Zips of Akron here at Sold Out Beaver Stadium. 10.03 to go, Penn State 14, and Akron 10. You're watching Big Ten Football. Got bad credit? Get help fast! If you need a better car, but your credit is holding you back, call now! Get approved financing even if you've been turned down before. Call now! There's no cost, no obligation, and no hassle. Call now! It's fast. It's easy. It's just what you need. Call now! We've financed thousands of people. We can help you. Phone lines answer 24 hours a day. Call now! Come and get it, sports fans. It's Fox Sports News this morning. Let's go. Serving two hours of the hottest highlights with the coolest coverage. Fox Sports News this morning, every morning. When guys want to see the latest in men's fashion, where do we want to see it? On Girls! That's why the X Show brings you girls in guys' underpants. Do guys really wear these? Sure. Yeah, baby! That's nice. And lots of other stuff. It's always better to get your clothes where? Off the rack. The X Show, weekdays at 11 on FX. Introducing NFL this morning on Fox Sports Net. More action, more football, more pregame power one hour earlier. Join Chris Myers as he hooks up with an all-pro team. Mark Levy, Jackie Slater, John Madden. Featuring the gang from Fox NFL Sunday. JB, Howie, Terry, and Chris. NFL this morning premieres September 12th. Followed by Fox NFL Sunday. Well, if you expected to tune in and see a blowout, you're not going to see that right now. Penn State 14 and Akron 10. A bit of a surprise with 10.03 to go in the second quarter. David Sullivan and Al Harris with you here from Beaver Stadium. Akron, low squib kick taken by Watson near the goal line. Looks for a block. Big return near midfield. Both of these teams have been able to rip off good kick returns. Well, Penn State said right back at you. After you return to kick off against you, we'll come back and bring it right back. Watson, where, as we talked about earlier, is their punt returner as well, has fine running skills. And watch that hole right there. He sees it, accelerates up the middle, does a nice cutback. And this is what Penn State needed a little bit here. They, I think they were a little flat, and they needed to get some emotion back into their team, and that may do it right there. Good block of the play by Gilmore. Kevin Thompson is back at quarterback for Penn State. At the 
48-yard line after a 53-yard return by Watson. On the ground. Stephon by the two. First down inside the Akron 35. That was a wonderful run by McCoo. And you hear the people going, Pee. watch these runs here. Cool was cool here. Takes the ball and just breaks people down. Quick shake there. Just And there's a stiff arm as well. He shook down Nate Johnson there. And I mean, this kid has all the tools to be a great running back. He led him in rushing in 98. 822 yards. One of several running backs that Joe Paterno has been going to in this season. Thompson looks to throw. On the run. Incomplete. Out of the reach of Mike Johnson. You know, one of the things that we talked with the Akron coaches about was the play of Dwight Smith. And on that play, Thompson was looking downfield to Fields. And Dwight Smith, number 15, did a great job of covering him one-on-one. -on -one, all the way down the field. And, and Fields is, is a great athlete, so... That's a matchup that uh, Akron is looking for Fields to some, I mean Smith to somehow win over Fields. You know, Joe Paterno pointed out to us yesterday that the offense for Penn State did not have 10, 12 plays sustained drives against Arizona. They scored on big plays. He wants to see him punch the football down the football field. And a big 53-yard kick return to get in this field position at the Akron 35. To McCoo. Third move by McCoo to the 15. Eric McCoo, the sophomore out of Red Bank, New Jersey. Wow. <laughs> wow, startling moves there by McCoo. And this is the thing they were looking for here. Watch these quick feet here. He just freezes the first defender, has him going one way. Oops, where are you going there, partner? You got to make some tackles there. This guy has some big time moves just freezes the defense there. When you get a guy like that that has great moves like that in the secondary, he's going to give you a lot of problems there. McCoo gives Penn State a first down. Now they hand it off down near the 10-yard line to Cordell Mitchell. He's hit by Richard Jones, number 29. Well, see, this is what you were talking about, Dave. Penn State needed to get a good drive with the running game and led by McCoo, and they're finally doing that. If you think about the first quarter, they led in rushing, but it was more by that one big run by um, Drummond on the reverse. So now it's good to have those running backs running that ball as well. Second down and four. Inside the five for a first down. Mike Saramelli. Started every game as a sophomore and scored a team high eight touchdowns last year. He's got one in this game. Sarah Melly, he's a tough runner, but Mike Young, number three, comes up there and really gives him a lick coming up here. And Sarah Melly was a little slow getting up. First down and goal. And officials call timeout. I think Akron has taken a timeout. They have, and... That stops the clock. 8.23 to go in the first half. I don't know if you could say if Penn State was sleepwalking through this first half or whatever, but they've awakened now. I mean, Akron has come right at them and showed them and said, you're going to have to play ball. You're not going to rely just on your reputation alone. You're going to have to come play us. Now we were talking about the fact that Penn State was counting down the days to the Arizona game. They had a big sign in the locker room, 229 games to that game, and marked one off each day all summer. That was an emotional game, a big ranked team coming in here. Then you follow this up with Akron today. You had to be concerned about whether Penn State may be a bit flat. There's a surprise for you, Nebraska and Iowa, second quarter scoreless. Minnesota now up on Ohio out of the Mid-America Conference, 14 to 7 in the second quarter. So the Gophers trying to get off to a winning start this afternoon, Miami of Ohio. So that's a Mid-America team that's leading a Big Ten team at Northwestern in the first quarter. Kevin Thompson, the quarterback, started every game last year, but he and Richard Casey splitting time this season. They've got a two fullback set. It is first down and goal. Zone. 
That's Ramelli again. Second touchdown on the afternoon. See, Penn State needed that. They needed to get right back in there, not give Akron any confidence there. As you watch that Penn State line just firing off the ball, getting movement there. Good block by McCoo. McCoo, you know, matter of fact, number eight, McCoo, he's had two very important blocks on these touchdowns. And last week, you should have saw the block he made against Arizona. He hit a guy, and his helmet flew like five yards backwards. So McCoo, not only can he run the ball, he can block as well. After Akron closed it to 14 to 10, Penn State with a 53-yard kickoff return. And now they march down and score quickly and are back on top, 21 to 10. Stay with us, we'll be back to Beaver Stadium in a minute. You're watching Big Ten Football. I wanted a drafting career where I could draw more than just a good salary. Computers are the future of drafting, and I'm part of it. I trained in computer-aided drafting at ITT Technical Institute. ITT Tech could mean a successful future for you, too. For an informative brochure, call ITT Tech at 1-800-791-2908. That's 1-800-791-2908. Welcome to the future of drafting. Wow, I bet the guys that run this stuff spent years in school. No, you might be surprised. So what are the chances of me getting to work here? Well, first of all, you gotta love to draw. And second? And second, you gotta call ITT Tech. For an informative brochure, call ITT Tech at 1-800-791-2908. That's 1-800-791-2908. Merrill Hodge knows all about power, how great it plays and runs and feels. Today at Bowser Oldsmobile, we've been going the distance for more than 16 years, running strong, with over 70% of the new cars we sell going to repeat customers. Our commitment to the guaranteed lowest price on all Oldsmobiles is something the greater Pittsburgh area feels good about. The power of Bowser is more than a dealership. It's a friendship. Bowser Oldsmobile, Route 51 South on top of the hill. A hat that's got kind of a Davy Crockett look to it in a way, I guess. <laughs> Penn State 21 and Akron 10. Eric McCoo just scoring or breaking off some big blocks and runs. Jimmy Gray is deep for Akron at the goal line, and he's going to let this one bounce into the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 20. Now, McCoo, as we talked about, watch him number eight on the left side of your screen here. Low level, great shot there. He's going to come in there, and he's going to take Nate Johnson out of the play, creating room for Saramelli to get in there for a touchdown. And this guy is just a phenomenal block. Joe just raves about his blocking ability. Well, you know, they said after the game last week, uh, the coaches realized that McCoo only carried the ball three times against Arizona. They went up and said, we're sorry we didn't get you the ball more. He said, yeah, but did you see that block I threw? <laughs> it was a phenomenal block. We, were, we ran that over and over again yesterday in the meetings. It was great. Popped the helmet off the Arizona defender. Gromack still on the... Uh, quarterback for Akron hits on the quick out to James Boyd. Or rather, James Boyd on the coverage as he hit it out on the sideline. Gain of a couple of yards. Now, this is interesting for Penn State's defense. We see their offense woke up and they established the physical presence back again on the offensive side. Now, what are they going to do defensively now? They have a different quarterback in there with Gromick. You know, they haven't seen him on film much at all. So how are they going to react? Second down and seven for... Gromick and Akron. Oh, intercepted. Picked off and returned down to the 10-yard line by number 52, Daniels, a senior out of Alexandria, Virginia. Well, Maurice Daniels show you how they're going to react. Intercept the ball and get the turnover again. He tried to go that quick right over the middle to the tight end. Daniels was right there waiting for him. They ran that play earlier and had success, but... Jerry Sandusky did a great job getting the defense in the right position, and Daniels makes a fine play. Now, Jerry Sandusky has over 30 years of experience, and he can read people after a while and, and see what they're trying to do to his defense, and he puts those guys in the right position. That's the second career interception for Maurice Daniels, number 52. He backs up Brandon Short at linebacker. Each team now with a turnover. First down and goal from the 10. Shard Casey 
flips and goes down at the 12-yard line. The whistles blow the ball dead. Well, that was basically a running play. He had no, uh, I, he had no mind, and he had nothing in his mind to throw the ball at all. I mean, he just wanted to run it. I guess to have a repeat of the touchdown before. Look at all those guys coming around there. He has a load of guys there. But Nate Johnson does a good job of making him turn back in. Number 34 did a great job of turning him back in and wasn't able to make that play like the last time. 21 to 10. Penn State leading. Now from the Akron 12. Casey. Looks. Scrambles. Inside the 10. He bumped out of bounds right at the 10-yard line. Great coverage by the Zips in the secondary there. Casey had no place to throw it. But he did the smart thing. Remember Joe said sometimes he, he worries about Casey because he has so much athleticism that sometimes he tries to force things and he'll make a mistake. But he was smart. He realized they had good field position, at least for a field goal. So he made sure if the play wasn't there, he's just going to take the safe play and run out of bounds. They want to make sure that Casey keeps his focus. And as long as he yes. does that, they say he'll play and he plays well. Yeah, he's getting a lot of confidence, a ton of confidence from last year. Third and goal. Touchdown. That was to John Gilmore, a sophomore. Number 85, 6'4, 253 pounds. That's a nice size target. Nice call there by Joe Paterno or Frank Ganter. Fran Ganter, their offense coordinator. Watch the poise there of the shark case. Just sits back there, plenty of blocking. Nice throw. Right down the middle. Good catch by Gilmore. That big old guy. I think you want to tackle that guy if you're a defensive back. He'll run you over. That is the first career passing touchdown for Richard Casey, who ran for one earlier in this game for his first touchdown as a collegiate player. Now for the point after, Fortney puts the foot into it, and it's 28 to 10, Penn State. In the last two minutes and 20 seconds, the Nittany Lions have scored two touchdowns and blown open a game from 14 to 10 to 28 to 10. We remind you, you're watching Big Ten football. This is the story of a guy named John. One day, John thinks to himself, I'm the baddest man in town, and I want everyone to know it. So he enters the Tough Man World Championship, where, unfortunately for John, he meets a guy who's just a little bit tougher. A few days later, as John was eating his dinner through a straw, he thinks to himself, man, I hope they don't show that on TV. The Tough Man World Championship Series, Fridays at 10 on FX. Real men, real tough. Giving your deck a facelift is as easy as one, two, three. Creating the perfect patio is a snap, step by step. Now decks, porches, and patios gives you step-by-step -step help for all your outdoor projects. It's filled with color illustrations, tricks of the trade, and there's even a special long flat binding. Take the first step by ordering decks for only $1.99. Use your credit card and get kitchens free. That's two books for just two bucks. Tackle any project with Time Life's home repair and improvement books. Give your kitchen a makeover with custom cabinets. Freshen up the bathroom with a new shower. Call now to get two books for two bucks. Use your credit card to order decks and get kitchens free. With home repair and improvement, you can turn your house into the home of your dreams. Call 1-800-559-9977 to get two books for two bucks. Order decks for a buck ninety-nine. Use your credit card and get kitchens free. That's 1-800-559-9977. Lions 28 and Akron 10, 641 in the first half. The kick to the end zone will not be returned by Jimmy Gray, and Akron will bring it out to the 20. Today's game is being produced and distributed by ESPN Regional Television. David Sullivan and Al Harris with you here from Beaver Stadium, where they had 300 tickets left for this game earlier in the week, but uh, they went. <laughs> Penn State, I mean, not too often you get a chance to come in here and, and watch a game, and I think fans, would, if they get a chance to come in and watch this great team play, they're going to take every advantage of it. Akron still with Greg Gromick. 
Number 18, a quarterback. Puts the ball on the ground, and there's nothing there. That was Kerpakis making the stop, assisted by Maurice Daniels. See, Kerpakis comes in there, he shoots down there low. Tackles paint. That was, that was just a nice job by Kerpakis. You know, he had a couple plays that kind of hurt their defense earlier. Uh, he's a first-year starter. And you're going to make those mistakes sometimes in the first year starter, and that's where you learn and you grow, and, and he made a good play and redeemed himself like that. Second down run, Brandon Payne. He gets just up with the 20 for maybe a yard or two. The thing about uh, Justin here, Kopakis, he's going to have a lot of chance to make some tackles because everyone's going to stay away from Courtney Brown as much as possible. Kopakis, he's going to turn this in on the inside here. Payne has nowhere to go. And that's what you want to do as a defensive end. You want to turn him back into your strength where everybody is inside. You don't want him to break down the contain where he has no one out there to help him. Now Akron's looking at third and nine from the 21. They go on the ground to Payne, and he's going to go for maybe four or five yards out up over the 25. Akron will have to punt. Well, one of the things is third down and long, you're asking a lot for your running back to get that many yards on the draw play, but uh, I think they wanted to make sure that this game wouldn't get out of hand. You know, Penn State has those explosive line people on defense, and maybe they were anticipating a blitz by uh, Arrington and the rest. So, you know, it kept them out of getting in trouble, but at the same time, they didn't move those chains. It's fourth and three after the gain of six, and John Eaton will punt. Kenny Watson is deep. Eaton's punt is high. Watson at the 40. Hit and drop. Good special teams play by Akron. Nate Johnson. Nate Johnson's been all over the field today. He's on special teams. He plays defense. You can tell he's still into it. They scored 28 on them, but they're still emotionally into the game. Johnson out of Steubenville, Ohio. Well, Nebraska, the fifth-ranked team of the country, finally on the scoreboard. Minnesota in the second quarter now leading Ohio 16-7. And Wisconsin with a 21-7 lead on Murray State in the second quarter. Kevin Thompson is at quarterback for Penn State. Oh, nice tackle. Hand off to number five, Larry Johnson, the redshirt freshman who is from here in State College. Nice tackle by Dwight Smith there. He's talking a little trash to the Penn State sideline. I don't know if you necessarily want to do that, but it shows at least he, emotionally he hasn't given up, and he made a fine tackle there on Larry Johnson. And a flag is going to go into Penn State. That's what Joe doesn't want. He doesn't want these mental breakdowns. Yeah, you're playing against a team from the MAC. Yes, physically you have an advantage. We have a push in the back by the offense. Ten yards from the spot of the foul remains first down. Watch on the left side of your screen here. You're going to see a block right there, right in the back there, by Bryant Johnson. He's a freshman. And you know, freshmen need to learn that you got to make that block properly. You can't. Get yourself position for a penalty. Denny Lyons been penalized now four times for 27 yards. Thompson's pass caught at the 40. See where the mark is going to be very close to the first, or rather the original line of scrimmage. The marker at the 40 after the penalty. Well, McCoo juggled that a little bit. Uh, the little juggling act there, but he made the play. Thompson has a good throw there. McCoo almost loses it, but McCoo's made a lot of great plays today. That's what happens when you start getting in your rhythm. Even when you make mistakes, they end up working out for you, and that almost was a mistake by dropping that ball. Kevin Thompson, senior out of Gaithersburg, Maryland, brings Penn State up to the line to face second down and 11. And there's not much there on that right side. Eric McCoo, the ball carrier, for little to no gain. So you got... Uh, Dave, you got about three minutes and 50 seconds left right now. This is a big play here for Akron. You want, you want to get Penn State, you want to stop them right here so you can get a chance to get that ball, possibly get a touchdown or at least a field goal so you can feel good about yourself going into halftime. Well, Akron was only down by four points, and 
Penn State has come back to score two touchdowns and open up the lead now on third down. Thompson throws, almost intercepted. Dwight Smith once again. Dwight Smith. Coaches say he's a Big Ten caliber athlete. They think he can play anywhere in the country. Looks like it right now. I mean, he's covered fields all over the place. And watch, I mean, he's a blanket here on the receiver. Nice play on Drummond. There was no way he's going to get that ball in there, and that almost would have been a pick. So Pat Pigeon punting from his 25-yard line. Brandon Payne, the deep man, takes a bounce out of bounds at the 34-yard line. That's where they'll mark it. Not a very good punt on that one. We're in Beaver Stadium, where Penn State, number two ranked team in the country, is leading Akron out of the Mid-America Conference 28 to 10. David Sullivan and Al Harris, glad to have you with us. Al, you were an All-American defensive end at Arizona State. You watched your Pac-10 Arizona come in here last yeah, week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bittersweet. I have to tell you about that one in a minute. All right. They still go on the ground as Gromick continues at quarterback. Handing off to Color, the big fullback. Color's ran the ball really well the whole game here. If you got about just under three minutes right now, they're in very good field position. You got uh, probably, what, second and five or six. You know, they can run a bunch of different plays here. They have a chance to get this ball down in the end zone against Penn State if they're smart. Inside the three-minute mark in the first half. Second and five. And they get it uh, maybe a yard to the 40. Fleishauer did a good job there penetrating in there. David Fleishauer, number 95. And that's what you need from Penn State. You need guys to step to the forefront. You just can't rely on the great athletes like the Arringtons and the Browns. You need those other guys to come up as well. And he made a great play. It's the big key here for Akron. Third down. Short. They need to make this play to give them a chance to get a score before half. Third and three for Akron. Gromick, quick out. Went right for the stick. Did he get it? Looks like they may spot it short of the first down. Hmm. That was receiver Greg Fougeau. He's called their possession receiver. They're going to go to him when they need possession yardage. Did he get it or not? Very close there. Greg threw it a little bit behind the making and come back. That's very, very close. And they're going to measure. Pujo did a good job keeping his feet in bounds. First down. Oh, he got First it. First down, down for Akron. A minute 53 to go, and Akron is still alive in this late first half drive. Well, I tell you what, when we talked to the coaches yesterday, Lee Owens, we had some doubts about bringing in uh, Gromick because we thought it would take away from the rhythm of the team, but he's doing a fine job here right now. Made some nice passes. Greg Pujo made a fine catch down the sidelines, keeping his feet in bounds, diving, and had good hands there. You talk about how Joe Paterno says he's going to put Rashard Casey in and out of the game whenever he feels like it, and it feels the right time. Owen said Gromick's going to play the second quarter of this ball game today, no matter what. On the reverse, on a fourth down, Ooh. Three, and they don't get it. First down, excuse me. They had the first down, but right there to resolve it, Ascari Adams. Ooh, Anthony King, that's the tackling man we talked about. Watch Anthony King, number 19, come in here like a flash. They're going to give Penn State a little of their own medicine with a reverse. Watch King. Wow. Man, this guy can tackle. Watch this hit. Ooh. He plays more like a safety than a corner. Knocked Lavelle Bailey down. Wow, is he physical. He's made some great tackles here in this game so far. Second down, 11 now for Akron. Trailing Penn State with a minute 12 in the first half. They're down 28 to 10. Gromick on the run. Throws up field. Incomplete. In and out of the hands. Derek Fox was on the coverage. The zips were kind of thinking that Fox got there a little early. Fortner was the intended receiver. Now watch on this replay here. Did Fox get there a little too early? Ooh, that was close. He was right on top of Pujo right there. 
And Pujols looking for that flag. He had his arm up saying, call it. Third down and on third down conversions, Akron two out of eight. This is a dangerous position, position to be in with Courtney Brown on the third and long. Here they come. The protection is there. It's right. Picked off by a scary Adams. He's going to go all the way. You know, we talked about momentum changes, things that can get your team up or down. That was a very, very critical play. You're talking about a, a seven point turner, a 14 point turnaround there, or at least seven. Now, he tries to force it in there. Mascari Adams just does a great job, and it shows some running skills there. Fakes, <laughs> fakes out there Brian, Brandon Payne and just takes off down the sideline. 59 yards on that return of the interception by Ascari Adams. Those are the things. Oh, that's a crusher play right there for the Zips. Point after now, Fortner. Puts it up, puts it in. And Penn State 35 and Akron 10. You know, you know, this is one of the things when you have a quarterback who hasn't played for a while, sometimes he doesn't read the defenses the way you want him to. Mascari Adams took full advantage of that. Just made a great play, read it. They knew it was third and long, so he could sit back there in the zone and made a great play reading the ball. Pointing there a little bit, got a touchdown. They have speed everywhere. It seems like almost every other play they have is a long distance play. I mean, they have guys that can run offensively and defensively. 10 3 at the 10 3 mark of the second quarter. We had a 14 10 game. It is now 35 10. Three straight touchdowns unanswered by Penn State. They've made the big plays and uh, they've blown the game wide open. Exactly. And, and that's the thing that they need to do. Look at this Drummond, 40 yard reverse. Adams with the touchdown you just saw. Fields had a 20-yard reception for Fields. He's actually been kind of quiet today, you know. Uh, kickoff return by Miller. So they have guys that can stretch that field in a hurry, and they need that. If they're competing for the national championship, they need to get all those different guys that great confidence that they can come in and make big plays in big games. But that's a crusher for the Zips right now. I mean, you don't want something like that to happen. Now just 46 seconds left in the half. Nailed at the 20-yard line. Well, you got about 41 seconds left. You have a Penn State defense that has obviously woken up now for their little slumber earlier in the game. If you're Akron, you want to make sure you don't get another quick score here. You're down by quite a bit here, 35 to 10. You want to make sure you protect the football right here. You don't want to give Penn State another score. Greg Gromick will once again be the quarterback. Saw Jerry Sandusky back there. You know, when you're a defense coordinator, you love to be in this position because you can call a lot of defenses and take some chances now with this big lead. Couple yards off the right side for Tony McRae. A junior from Akron. Now second down as the clock is at 28 seconds left in the first half. See, that's what the Zips are trying to do. They're just trying to get out of this without any more points. And Penn State's calling the timeout, trying to get some more points, keep them on their side of the field. Well, Penn State, as we said, Joe Paterno's team has With scored. With the clock operator, please reset the clock to 33 seconds. Resetting the clock to 33 seconds. His team has scored three straight touchdowns, 21 yeah. unanswered points. Mm -hmm. Uh, just about the time we said, well, it's not a blowout. Akron's in the game. Penn State just took control of it and uh, scores three in a row. Yes, they did. And, and two big turnovers there. You know, two interceptions by the quarterback in the second half hurt them. You know, and both led to touchdowns. One was a touchdown off of the interception. Another one by Sarah Melly ran it in off the interception. And so um, Maurice Daniels had that interception earlier. Akron's got one timeout left. And Penn State with two. Well, they have a good chance of making them punt this ball right now. There's 28 seconds left. It's second and nine. Uh, 
You've got two timeouts left, so it's possible. You want to make sure if you're Akron, you want to run this clock down as uh, low as possible we can and hopefully come in at halftime and talk to you guys, get them, get them regrouped, get them mentally back into the game, keep believing, keep fighting. And that's one of the things that Lee Owens is known for is to have his guys fighting constantly, playing all the whole game, not giving up, keep fighting. You're playing against a great team, a team that's competing for the national championship. So there's a lot of things that you can bring into play and say, guys, you know, we had a couple of turnovers that got us in trouble. Otherwise, we've been playing with Penn State. We've had some good runs. We've had some good hits. We've been moving some people off the ball. Other games going on uh, around the country this afternoon at halftime. How about this? Fifth-ranked Nebraska, seven, and Iowa, nothing. And Minnesota in the second quarter, leading Ohio, 16-7. to seven. The reason we're rating right now with delay on the field is they're resetting the clock. They just put 33 seconds on it. It had been 28, now it's 33, and that's what the officials said should be on that clock. Well, that's not good news for Akron, obviously. It gives them a few more seconds to uh, possibly get the ball back. Talking about Penn State, that is. It is second and eight. Not much off the side. Christian Morgan, number 27, the ball carry, sophomore out of Maslin, Ohio. See, they call a timeout once again. Now it's down to 28 seconds. So obviously they're going to get a chance to get this ball back unless there's a big play made on third down. And State's called another timeout, stopping it at 28. Jerry Sandusky, words with uh, Lamar Arrington. Yep. Lamar Arrington's been kind of quiet in this game. You notice that? Georgia Tech, number 10 rank, 21 to 7. They got a lead on Navy. You know, Jerry is just a wonderful human being to talk to. Uh, just a great guy, kind of quiet. You know, we, I, I, I've always pitched him. First time I met him was yesterday. I always pitched him being like a fiery in your face kind of guy. And he seems to be one of the most pleasant guys that I've ever met. And, uh, you know, obviously I'm not out there on the field with him. He might be totally different out there, but. Uh, uh, a great individual, reaches out to a lot of kids in his programs, and uh, he's just doing a wonderful job for Penn State. This is going to be his last year. It's third down and seven for Akron with 28 seconds in the half. They got a run, they got right near the first down. They needed the 31 yard line. He's up to the 34. So a first down as Tony McRae picks up the yardage for the first down. Oh, they needed that play. That'll, that'll buy him. Nice uh, little misdirection play there. McRae does, he does a good job running the football. I mean, he's shaking off some very good defensive players. They're short. Uh, who's, uh, we talked about possible number one pick in the NFL draft. 10-yard game. The clock's running at seven seconds. Looks like Akron's just going to let it run out. Well, that's the end of the first half. Akron kept it close until about the 10-minute mark of the second quarter. And the Nittany Lions have scored 21 unanswered points and lead it 35-10. to 10. You're watching Big Ten Football. If you're ready to lose weight, muscle up, and get back into shape, I've got a free video you're going to love. Introducing a winning fitness strategy. you got to eat healthy, drink plenty of water, and most importantly, strength train with Bowflex. Strength training adds muscle. Not only does your shape look better, you actually increase your metabolism, so you end up burning more calories. Strength training these days isn't just for men. It's great for women, too, and Bowflex is designed for both. It's even been called the best home gym by Fitness Magazine. Use as little as 5 pounds to more than 400 pounds of resistance. Follow our six-week fast fat loss program or create your own from over 60 different health club quality exercises. Bowflex is easy to own and it fits in any room in your house. It comes with a six-week guarantee on results and you can finance it with no money down and payments as low as $33 per month. Hey, I'm 41 and I'm in the best shape of my life and I can tell you Bowflex really does work. 
For a free video and brochure on the machine that can help you get into great shape at any age, call right now. Craftsman. Built to handle whatever Mother Nature dishes out. And even the things she doesn't. Over the years, no mower has been more bumped, scraped, and abused than Craftsman. Why face your lawn with anything else? Hurry into Sears, where all tractors and mowers are on sale. Come on, Terry. Jamal's going to teach us a dirty bird. Nah, I got my own end zone dance. Oh, yeah? Let's see it. No, I couldn't. Well, uh... Hit it! Now that's old school. How was that? The season kicks off with a high-octane doubleheader as the Cowboys battle the Redskins. Then it's an NFC Championship rematch as the Vikings take on the Falcons. Fox NFL Sunday returns September 12th on your local Fox station. Penn State with 21 unanswered points of the second quarter delayed the Akron Zips 35 to 10. David Sullivan and Al Harris with you here at halftime as we check other scores of the Big Ten today. Ninth-ranked Wisconsin pouring it on Murray State at halftime, 42 to 7. David Sullivan and Al Harris with you again. Al, uh, Akron had this game in a very close in the second quarter. It was 14 to 10. But then Penn State turnovers and big plays to blow the game wide open. Well, you know, when you throw interceptions and give a team like Penn State a short field, that's going to make it very difficult for your team. And that's what Akron has basically done. Penn State's taken full advantage of it, gotten it to their skill players to make some great plays. All right, so Penn State certainly in control of the game. Right now we're going to break away and have a report about the bowl championship series from Mike Gleason. Last season, Tennessee capped a miraculous run with a 23-16 win over Florida State in the Fiesta Bowl. The victory wasn't just Tennessee's first national title since 1951. It was also the debut of the new bowl championship series. It's a mixed review. I love it. I mean, you got, what can't you not like about it? You got two great teams together. I think there's no question that there's, no, there's not going to be a playoff. I'm doubts as to whether it is possible that you're going to be able to come up with the two best teams every year. And I felt was, Ohio State was left out last year. I thought Ohio State was a, an extremely good football team. Uh, that may happen again this year. The BCS is good for college football, but I was under the impression that the top eight teams are going to go play, you know, and, and then have a true national champion. Well, of course, that, that isn't what happened. Uh, we can't complain in Ohio State, but if I was coaching at Kansas State, I would have been quite upset with the way things turned out last year. I think Kansas State should, was certainly one of the top eight teams in the country and should have played, but, you know, I'll give Roy Kramer and, and the other commissioners credit. It looks like they are trying to straighten things out. Well, Coach Cooper is half right. The changes to the BCS won't guarantee a team like Kansas State a spot, but they did add a rule that should help. To get an at-large berth this year, a team will need nine wins in the regular season instead of eight, and still need to be in the top 12 of the BCS rankings. The BCS is also trying to make the computer portion of the equation more equitable. To review, there are four categories that make up the BCS standings. A team's total losses, a combination of the ESPN, USA Today, and AP polls, schedule strength, and the dreaded computer rankings. The first three will stay the same, but instead of an average of just three computer rankings, the BCS will add five more computer rankings to the mix, dropping the low score. No one seems to know whether this will work or not. I'm not too sure I, I agree with more computer analysis. I, I think there are people that know this game, uh, and, and people that understand what's going on and and I think you have to trust trust their opinion rather than feeding some more computers to come out with uh, with some of these results. Uh, I, I'm a little leery about that. That's the only thing that concerns me. Something else that people are a little leery of is a team like Syracuse playing in a BCS bowl game. When most people believe they really didn't belong last year. The Orangemen earned their spot in the bowl game after winning the Big East title, but they were only 8-3 and three and finished 15th in the BCS standings. So that also gets a rule change. Each BCS conference is now subject to review. If the conference champion over a four-year period doesn't average a ranking of 12th or higher in the BCS rankings, they'll lose their automatic BCS bid, which may upset the Big East. But others around the country see it as a crack 
to get into the big-time bowls. That's something that certainly we will, will strive to uh, become a member of the bowl championship series in the, in the future. And as the parameters have come out, if we have a team ranked in the top 12 over a four-year period, uh, perhaps we can take one of the conference spots that, that are available now to the six automatic berths. Eventually, you know, we're, that we'll get a bigger, bigger play in this thing. Um, but I think it's still going to take some time because we're not, you know, it's, the, it's all about money and all about prestige and all about who has the power. And obviously at this point, we don't have the prestige or the power that some of the other conferences do. Putting aside who gets in and who doesn't, even with the changes, it's still up in the air as to whether it's the best system or not. Some would like to see even more changes. My personal thing would be to, to have that bowl, the national championship game set back in mid-January, play the bowl games like they used to be and, and then pick two teams. You have to pick somebody. I mean, if you, the playoff system isn't going to work. It's just too exhausting. Others like it the way it is. My belief is that we have to uh, do what we can to ensure uh, the endurance of the bowl system. Well, still others think this is the only way to do it. I think the bowl championship series is here to stay. I think it's very good. Go to New Orleans next year. <laughs> Millennium in New Orleans. Tell me. Is that all bad or what? It's halftime here as Penn State is leading Akron 35 to 10. We'll be back with more in just a minute. Stay with us.